of them. Hey everybody, this is Crosslock Dance here. Testing out a recording today using the Citra emulator for the 3DS. Uh, oh, oh, it's a little spicy already off to a good start. Mm. But thankfully, looks like overall looks well. You know, uh, as you can probably already see, some some things are a little different from the normal 3DS gameplay here, like uh, my character model. I've decided to use some updated textures. The art accurately. Ouch! So many fucking bats. Oh wow, I'm bad. It's been a while. Alright. There we go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Purple ruby, damn, okay. Um, but yeah. No, no, no. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I got the hero shield from Majora's Mask as a mod, and then I got Art Accurate Link, which I just to make it as close to the concept art as possible. Not bad. Might link those in the future video, but for now, I am just currently just testing, trying to see how well this runs with the recording. You know how it be. Got a quick spin off. I gotta say, quick spin's a little harder in this game. Well, not in this game, sorry. On this kind of controller. It was definitely designed with a circle pad in mind and not an actual real human boy joystick, that's for sure. Nice, no, not bad at all. Um, but yeah. How is everybody today? Hope you're all doing as good as I am about this stuff. Uh, you know. Well, let's take that mouse cursor off the screen. Jeez. Come on, me. Why didn't you recognize that? God. Uh, yeah. Currently using uh, Citrus Canary. I'm sorry, Citrus. Citra Canary 1947. Alright. Good build so far, it seems like. Things are pretty stable. Unfortunately, just because of how new 3DS emulation is as a whole, right? You know, it might just be over a couple, like maybe half a decade old. I could be wrong. It's been. I didn't do my research. I'm not a good boy. Oh, that man cracking his knuckles. Did you see him? He's like, stand the fuck back. I got this. Mmm. Done. Rocks are invalid as far as he's concerned. Oh, he don't care. Look at him. Look at him go. Big strong boy like that. That man drank all the freaking milk. But yeah. Honestly. Ocarina Time 3D. It's a pretty good port. Um, well, I guess it's a recreation of anything. But it did borrow from the source code. Anyway, so does it really count as like a... Just a remake? Well, sorry, just a port. I do feel like it's more just a remake entirely. Some people argue different. And some people don't really like this port just because... Oh, wow, I'm getting my words confused. Though. Some people really don't like this version of Ocarina Time 3D. You know, just because, you know, the whole lighting thing. Just how, in some cases, like, character models can seem slow. Even though... You know, even though they're trying to make it like a different frame and everything. I mean, this thing runs at 30 compared to like the standard like 19 frames per second, which is uh, the 64, right? And even so, honestly, like, you know, I don't, I don't know. I do prefer the 3D version, even though I literally grew up with 64. Grew up with, you know, GoldenEye, Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, you know, all the good games. All the good games. Hey, right. Pokemon Stadium. You've probably seen on my friend Hayden Games 3 V2's channel how much I just enjoyed freaking Pokemon. We played like at least three, four playthroughs, right? You know, good stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna stop recording over here in a little bit. And actually, you know what? I'll just keep going. Why not? 
I'm making this up as I go along, as you can obviously tell, so... <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> My favorite thing is to draw the sword out and just go crazy. Honestly. There's so many games I want to play on this thing, just that Citra isn't, like, the best emulator sometimes. Just today alone, I tried to get Metal Gear Solid 3D working, and, uh, we don't talk about it, honestly. Oh, let's see. If this looks like an awkward animation to you, when you see this, like, this isn't, that's not your eyes deceiving you. This is actually just how it looks. Yeah. Honestly, it's just kind of how they tried to convert it from like a 20 FPS game to 30 FPS. Some animation seems slower than the actual movements help. You know, it can't be helped, honestly. I ain't too worried about it though. Anyway, we're here at Lon Lon. This is the first game I ever got on the 3DS myself. This and, uh, I want to say Super Mario 3D Land. Both great games. Absolutely had fun with them as a kid growing up. I was pretty sure I was just 14. It was Christmas Day, you know. My dad got it for me. You know, bless his soul and everything. Love him a lot. And he just... You know, he got me that, uh, what was it, that teal? Crystal Teal 3DS, right? You know, it had that nice glossy finish and everything. Oh yeah, you remember that, guys? Back when 3DS has had their super glossy, shiny finish, before where they went with the normal plastic. What a great, what a crazy time. To me, at that time, like, the game seemed like, the system seemed so big, but if like, now, if I hold like one of the smaller ones and not an XL dude, they seem so tiny. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm playing a game for ants. Designed for babies. Alright, for real, I will end it here for now, just to hear myself. Hopefully the audio went good, or else this is going to be real awkward. Here, all have yourself a good one.